Are you squishers? And welcome to day six of Squishmas with me, Kate, under the stairs with all the socks. Yay! And today I'm going to be taking you on a fast tour of some of my best stash bursting projects. That's right, because I have a lot. I love a bit of stash bursting, although the term stash bursting in my world is not quite the same because I have an I have a never-ending supply of yarn, so mostly it's just like a big fun bus. So, first off, first off, let me show you what I've been knitting. This is where I am so far. I was thinking, oh, maybe I should finish it before the video, but I thought, no. This is like real-time knitting with Kate. This is this is where I am since yesterday. And, of course, I've not had I've not had a marathon knit run of this today. I've been doing all the squishing. All this, oh, my gosh, the DK mini kit. I'm so excited. Just a side note about the next shop update. There will be limited kits of DK Squish. Oh my gosh, like they are so cute. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. This. So I was going to finish the whole thing off, make the hat and be like, woohoo. But I thought, no, this is where I am right now. So these are the color choices I went with. I This this is, has not been in the shop. This was a, a secret Squish, a color ages ago. And I am... I am not secretly obsessed with it. It is largely in lots of my knits. This colour right there. Boom. And it, even though it might not look like it blends, it will make sense when it gets to the end because you'd be like, oh, I get it. Pow. So I am almost finished on the double. In, you can almost see how it's going to work. Inverted hat type thing like that. Where you could wear it double sided both sides and each side has 50 grams worth of squish there's like 10 color sections so of course i'll be doing a pattern that's the whole point these are for you and for me to enjoy oh and the bonus thing is this is not just whenever i have a little <coughs> let's take a minute do you ever have breakthrough knit moments now on my quest to knit i am adverse like allergic to knitting patterns when i say that i mean i don't <clears throat> i don't get it so when i write patterns they're largely through my experience the way i'm describing them i keep them simple because essentially it's the color that i want you to do the work with like get the color out get it going so <clears throat> when i knit i am largely teaching myself choosing small things to change all the time and if you ever want to learn more more different things it's monday it's been a full day if you want to learn some more different things you don't have to do everything all in one go like you don't have to do all the different patterns all the different you could just choose a simple thing like right now in my knit career i'm focusing on something simple as knits and pearls like what can i get out of it because out of this pattern i've already designed three or four more other things that i'm going to quick i'm going to quickly be knitting because these are the only size needles I've got on this one. <sighs> Need to solve that problem. The only one. <sighs> Once these are off, I've got another project to start as well, which if you like this one, you'll like that one. If you like this one, you'll like that one, because I'm going to love it. So this is my stash. This is quite a good stash busting project. And if you've got an advent kit, oh my God, you could have so much fun. Like you could do little strips, mini strips. But let's talk a bit more about stash busting, because under the stairs with me today, I have brought my collection I've brought a selection of some of my blankets. And the first one I'm going to show you is not at all, not at all in my yarn. This blanket I made, this is the first blanket I ever made where I <clears throat> just didn't care about colour. Not in a, I don't care about you colour way, like, mm, more like, um, I don't care to notice when it's not working. Or I just want to see all the options or i just want to know what it looks like because this is when i largely wore gray and black so this ah this is before my car accident and before children this was the first project they made and the i and it was on an instagram thing i only ever joined instagram because i was stuck at home sitting down a lot and i was like my friend suggested instagram and i was like what and i saw this crochet hashtag thing going around and i think it was something like crochet mood blanket and i was like what's that what's a mood blank like how on earth do you convey moods through blankets and i was like what does that look like little did i know it became a lifelong mission for me to express my mood through color thus through everything like this is not i never expect this this blanket 
is is like a tipping stone for me so this blanket is made from every bit of yarn i had going in the house like i had everything i had loads of people donate things to me over the years i've had people give me their scraps i've had a ball of yarn here ball of yarn there it is probably 99.9% .9 acrylic which means it is now after <clears throat> how old is this black this must be almost this is gonna be about eight eight years old eight or ten years old look at that it stands the test of time i better make in and this is not had as much use as it should do. So this is now going to be turned into something else, like a cover for a sofa. Because I wanted to show you this, because it's not out of my yarn. And why am I showing it you? Because this is something you could just try. Like if you are like a little bit nervy about color, try this approach. Just get everything knit. Like at one point I was blindly choosing, which was fun, but I was also sometimes disappointed with my choices. But other times, like but this one right there. Oh, you see, oh, and like that's what love. The, oh, oh, look, that blends quite a lot. Oh, look, see, look, see, look, see, see, see. You never know where it's going to take you. So try something like that. It's a crochet mood blanket. It's largely all made out of granny squares. I'm going to try not to tip this over whilst moving this. Okay, okay, okay. I'll put that down there. So, <clears throat> number two, you could do a giant squishy dot blanket. It doesn't have to be giant. It just turns out that, oh, it, following the conversations about needles yesterday, when they barf everywhere, this is the said item I was referring to. And I'll just show you how we even, I even remember doing a weigh-in for this because it was so large. I had to cast it off because I think it was six times that all the stitches just whoop, barfed out and that was when I decided I was done you know you I was done I was done I was, I was done but it is it is ginormous so this is my big this is my big giant giant squishy blanket it's a center out blanket knit and it's very simple once you get through the fiddly bit in the middle so if you'd like to try something like this that will just gobble up lots of your yarn especially if you've got lots of yarn that are in if you've got lots of like base colors which are good to use like this next example is a good one to show you this is knit with everything under the sun like i was like oh 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 yeah oh yeah a bit like the crochet blanket down there it was just anything and everything and this is a number one the heaviest blanket number two one of my favorite blankets number three this covers my double bed like the whole thing covers my double bed it is ginormous it is huge I will, I will have a look at that post to see how heavy it is. But this is the kind of project that over, over the holiday season, if you would like to plan yourself a knit that over time you grow to love because you have to have it on your lap a lot and that you essentially, if you enjoy the nature of going round on a square with crochet and you're getting into knitting, you're going round and round and round and round. I can get really obsessive. Like you can just keep on going without noticing how big it is. Just a side note, like you may not notice how big it is because it's in circular needles. So just keep the yarn bath in mind. There's a certain weight to, you're going to get to a certain weight before the blanket tells you it's done. And I'm glad mine did because to be fair, if I'd have carried on going anymore, it would have been so large. I would not have even been able to use it on my bed. Woo! So there you go. Free pattern in the shop. Squishy dot blanket. Go wild with your scraps. Right, I'll attempt this one. Okay. And number three. This is a crochet blanket. This is a good example of where you can use a colour in the back. Oh, look at this. I forgot about this. Things you can do with crochet blankets when you've done using them as a blanket. I've turned this into a cardigan, which is hilarious because I did look at it the other day thinking, oh, that is warm. This is going straight onto my sofa after this because I didn't realise I'd done this. So this, I use lots of different vibrant colours like pinks and greens. So I had like a nice, I do love pink and green together. I do. I think it, I just, I just love them. I mixed it with Elmer Grey, which is my favourite mixed colour of all time because it's in the middle of a dark and a white and it just helps kind of like hold things together. Think of like your background colour. If you're, if you're painting, not even if you're painting, if you're wondering how to get a nice even background and you're using lots of different vibrant colours, just choose an anchor colour to the back of it. Brown is great if you've got the... I'll stop doing that. 
I've changed this room around so many times. There was next to me a blanket with brown slurb. I was going to show it to you, but I now know that that's in the living room because that's all tied up and done and I like using that. So I need to remember that's in there as well, as well as this is now going to go in. But use a nice background anchor colour. And that's a good thing to do if you have lots of like... Oh, this is a good one as well. Have you tried mixing uh, acrylic cream bases and things like that with your hand dyed yarn? Now that's a nice treat. I've made some real nice things with acrylic and hand dyed yarn together because it gives you that nice bit of pops of colour in between and you still get that kind of wearable durability of the acrylic. Because let's be fair, like that blanket down there, it's gonna last me forever. These ones, I just, I always just take them out of the drawer and squish them and forget that I've turned them into actual functional things. So second tip of the day, if you do have a granny square blanket or a big square crochet blanket, you can indeed turn it into a cardigan type overthrow thing by just seaming up the side, leaving a hole for the arm and then you're done. So that is what I thought I'd bring underneath the stairs today to show you because I know a lot of you are talking about all of your projects and what you're going to make. Mm -hmm. Hiya! Mm -hmm. It's very funny having me film videos in the house with children and he's just out there watching me just so you know. You can hang there for a second. So what I'm going to show you next in the next video is some smaller projects you can do where I've got loads of scrappies you can eat up and use some of your advent your advent stuff with. So what I'm going to do next is, oh, oh, before I forget, if you're working with tiny scrappies, ah, this here is another great stash busting project. I have literally assorted all my colours into bags ready to go and these use less than three grams each a scrap. And I've got desires of making a large blanket for it as well. So this is going to be something I'm going to slowly work on over Christmas. But I will get my other stash of other scrappy projects out of my cupboard to show you. Because they are endless and you can never have enough scrappy projects. So Squishers, wish me luck finishing this tonight. I've got the squish to do as well, which hopefully my fingers aren't going to be too wrinkly to do this. But whilst I'm going to try and finish this off to show you tomorrow, and I shall have a reversible inside out hat. Wish me luck. If you haven't had a chance to craft, don't worry about it. Just keep thinking about it, select your colours, go in your stash drawer, get it all together, find your perfect project. And if you're looking for a pattern, go and grab a free pattern on the website on www.katesaline.co.uk and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!